Hello there, my name is Ismaps, and this is part two of our advanced physics simulation in Blender 2.8. So let's fracture this object here using the, fract the cell fracture uh, add-on. Uh, so just select the object, go under ob the object menu, quick effects, so fracture. Uh, we're going to use the annotation pane to tell Blender what, where the impact point is going to be uh, for the fracture or where the source of the fracture is going to be. So let's select the annotation pane and draw some squiggly lines here. Yes, make circular uh, points like this. And uh, you can see that uh, we, are paint, we are painting directly on the surface because uh, under the annotation uh, tool settings, uh, we have the placement set to uh, the surface. And uh, this will make our fracturing uh, more realistic uh, since we are drawing directly on the surface. And now we need to draw uh, these kind of wave structures or, or lines like that. Uh, that kind of help tell the annotation sorry the fracture I don't know uh, where to, how to fracture are uh, the the objects so now that we are done with that we can go into the fracture uh, settings so quick effects so fracture and uh, we need to set uh, the point source to be annotation pencil because we have already drawn that and now we need to set up a few things here I'm also setting up a scene collection uh, for the fractures so that I have so, so that I have all the fractures into one collection and that makes it easier for me to select them. Uh, let's see, what else should I set here? I think uh, for the most part that's it. Uh, that's all you need to set up. Uh, so I'll hit OK and that should start fracturing my object. And uh, you can see how we have smaller pieces here uh, on the impact point and the larger pieces other in other areas okay I don't like how this is a very large piece that is not broken up so let me undo this make sure I don't have any fractures and I continue to draw uh, these lines maybe add different impact points in different areas now this is glass when when it's fractures you, you want no one will tell that uh, it's not fracturing in a very unrealistic way. It's, it's, yeah, so just how, I don't know how this is going to look, but uh, let's do this and uh, see. So fracture, make sure you have uh, a collection set. And you can see because we textured, we text, we had textured uh, the object already, uh, the fractures also carry or inherit uh, that texturing and the UV mapping and everything so make sure you do that before you fracture so let's look at uh, this let me hide my original object and you can see all the fractures have been added or placed into uh, the fracture collection so that i can uh, collapse this or expand it to see the fractures i can even if i if i wanted to select all the fractures uh, say you had multiple objects so you just select one piece and then shift g to select uh, the entire collection and you can see we have all these fractures collected selected sorry let me turn off this annotation uh, since we are done with that for now so I will just disable that you can see how our fractures look I think because I made a lot of cuts uh, yeah, it's not looking as good as uh, these fractures you see but that's okay you can spend a little bit more time to uh, with your annotation tool to get better results so yeah, this is what we have, and uh, we just need a flow and start setting up the physics. Uh, right now, uh, the only way to move these uh, these fractures around is by selecting the entire collection. Uh, let's make sure that this here is not in the fracture uh, collection, so just hit M and move it to the scene collection, uh, so that it's outside the fracture. So that when I select the fractures, I'm only selecting the fractures. Um, uh, I want to parent these fractures to the control object, so that whenever I rotate or animate the the control object, uh, the fractures go with that, and that will also add help in the physics simulation uh, to tell to create new projections uh, or directions where you want uh, the fract the the, the object to be thrown. So let's select all the fractures. Let me first hide this. Let me hide 
I don't need to hide this. Let me just select all the fractures and then select as a control object. Last, hit control P, keep transform and then you're good to go. Now we can hide the fractures and hide everything else. I'll make sure you just disable the, this collection. Let me make sure this is recording. Uh, yeah, uh, disable this uh, so that we can work on the animation for this. Now, this is the fun part. This is where the fun begins. So I can give this an initial velocity. So let me start this animation here, from here. Uh, you can see the, fracture are, uh, the fractures are also moving with this object because we have them parented to the control object. So I just need to start adding keyframes. And I think, I thought the series would be very wrong, sorry, very long, but uh, yeah, I guess it won't be so. Uh, sometimes you don't see these keyframes. Uh, if you're not seeing them, just expand the summary so that you can see them. I don't know why they hide them by default uh, because I, I always want to uh, to see them. Uh, so just need to give this an initial velocity or throughout direction. But uh, you can see if you look closely, uh, let me reduce uh, my time frame. If you look closely, uh, this is slowing down from the beginning and then slowing down as it ends. Uh, that's because we're using the uh, Bezier, Bezier interpolation. So we need to change this to linear interpolation so that there is no slowing down as this stops. So just hit V and then change to vector. Uh, the Y switch between the, con the curves timeline and the timeline and this keyframe timeline. I just used Control T, sorry, Control Tab uh, to toggle between uh, those different timelines. So uh, this is not s slowing down at least as much. And uh, now uh, that is going to be uh, the initial velocity for our uh, fractures. Uh, so if I now I can hide uh, the control object and uh, bring back the fractures, you can see they have uh, that initial push, uh, which is going to be <coughs> which is going to draw. Uh, which is going to drive uh, the direction of our uh, fractures uh, when, they, um, when the physics starts kicking in. So let's uh, start working on the physics. So I'll select one fracture, Shift G, select everything uh, that is in the fracture collection, and then go under Object, Rigid Body, then add an active Rigid Body system uh, to all the fractures you have. You can see, if we go to the Physics tab, you can see each of them has that, physics, that uh, Rigid Body system added. So if we play back now, they just fall down and they don't respect uh, the animation we created uh, from the parent. If we can turn that on. And see, this goes in a different direction and then the fractures go in a different direction. Uh, let's just also, let me turn off the keyframes. Let's also give this a rigid body system. Uh, make sure it's passive so that it doesn't, it just interact uh, with uh, the object, but it doesn't move with other rigid bodies, but it doesn't move. And see this just falls down it's a nice effect but uh, very cheap and uh, not what we are going for I want it to be thrown uh, with uh, this bottle and uh, only and only if this impacts or hits any other object and uh, then this fractures so to do that just select one so to respect the animation you see from the parent uh, we just need to turn on animated for the fractures. So if we turn on animated for the fractures, you can see this piece will go out with the parent. And uh, if you do the same for all the objects, all the fractures, uh, they should also respect uh, the animation from the parent. Uh, the problem is when we turn on animated, then the fracture will, will ignore all the physics simulation, all, all the rigid body simulations. It won't collide with other objects. It also won't fall down. Uh, to gravity. Uh, so to kind of mitigate that, uh, we just have to animate off and on uh, this animated uh, value. So at around here, right about here, when this is about to stop, uh, we can animate this animated and uh, just one frame after, we can switch that off and uh, add a keyframe. So that means that uh, uh, from zero to something like 10, 
what is it, 17, 16, uh, it will respect the animation from the parent. And then after that, uh, the animation will start, uh, this fracture will start considering the physics uh, simulation uh, to drive its animation instead of uh, the animation from the parent. Uh, as you can see, now it gets thrown and it uses the initial push of initial animation as its initial velocity. And see, it just continues uh, like that. So we need to copy the settings uh, for this fracture uh, onto all the other fracture, fractured pieces we have. So to do that, uh, we can select our fracture. And then, let's see, let's see, first, let's try to hide everything else. Select all the fractures, shift G, collection, fractures, and uh, make sure this is the active uh, object. And then control L, select link animation data. And this should link all the animation data, which includes uh, the animation of the animated property. And I can see now everything goes uh, with the parent until that keyframe and then they, they, they shatter. It, uh, it's like uh, the bottle is uh, throwing these pieces away, uh, which is not the effect we had in the original animation. You can see they only shatter or start breaking up uh, after they collide with another object and that's what we want. So in the next part, we're going to see how to set that up uh, so that, and uh, right now, we have already set up uh, the animation. Uh, so if, in, if you want to to change uh, the animation a bit, maybe change the direction like this. Uh, that's already set up. You just need to make sure that uh, the keyframes are set. Now you can see how this has changed. Let's see, I don't, can't think of any other way to animate this. Let's see, maybe start it off like this, flip it. Flipped. Uh, make sure you don't add extra keyframes. Uh, they kind of. Yeah, but uh, the problem you're running in are uh, they're all shattering before they impact or before they collide with anything. So, fix that in the next tutorial. Uh, see you then. Thank you for watching.